Hello, my name is Bob Edelman from North Shore University Health System in Evanston, Illinois. I will be presenting our work on ungated non-contrast MR angiography using balanced T1 relaxation enhanced steady state or BTRES. Several techniques already exist for non-contrast MRA, including KISS, fresh blood imaging, time of flight, and so forth. What these techniques have in common is the need for cardiac synchronization. However, if you use ECG gating, you have to apply leads, which increases setup time, and ECG gating can be unreliable in certain settings, such as when there are arrhythmias or at three Tesla due to magnetohydrodynamic effect. Pulse gating may be unreliable as well, for instance, due to finger motion. We therefore implemented an ungated approach for non-conscious MRA that uses a novel pulse sequence called Balanced T1 Relaxation Enhanced Steady State, or BTRES, which provides a basis for a very simple approach for non-conscious MRA. The BTRES sequence for non-conscious MRA angiography relies on the use of a fast interrupted steady state, or FIS, readout. And there are two main reasons for using this instead of a traditional balanced steady state free procession readout. One is that FIS provides natural fat suppression, which is otherwise difficult to obtain when you are using a continuous radial acquisition, as is the case with BTRES. In addition, FIS is much less sensitive to flow artifacts than a traditional balanced steady state free procession acquisition. So for the BTRES sequence, we acquire a series of FIS modules, which are separated by slab selective contrast modifying radio frequency pulses. These are moderate flip angle radio frequency pulses that suppress the signal from background tissues such as synovial fluid, small superficial veins, and so forth. In addition, we apply a tracking venous saturation pulse at repeated intervals at the same time as the contrast modifying pulses, which helps to ensure that the veins are suppressed despite the use of a 3D acquisition technique. Now the TRs we use are typically on the order of 138 to 262 milliseconds, so they're quite short. This is an IRB approved study performed at 1.5 Tesla in a series of healthy subjects and patients with peripheral arterial disease. BTRES is acquired as a series of thin overlapping 3D volumes. The reason we use thin volumes is similar to the principle of 2D KISS in that we want to optimize inflow of unsaturated arterial signal. In addition, we use a radial stack of stars case-based trajectory. And the reason we use radial instead of Cartesian is to smooth out fluctuations and signal that would otherwise occur as data is acquired randomly during different phases of the cardiac cycle. Slice thickness is much thinner than with 2D KISS at 0.7 millimeters. We use a 60 degree readout for the FIS acquisition and considerable slab and slice overlap to minimize Venetian blind artifact. And as previously mentioned, we use repeated acquisitions of a tracking venous saturation pulse to suppress venous signal. Here's an example of the difference between the TRESS sequence with no contrast modifying pulse on the bottom and on the top using a 45 degree angle. Without the contrast modifying pulse, the bladder is bright as are bowel loops and many of the veins. With the contrast modifying pulse, we get a pristine image showing arteries with suppressed background signal. And this is quite diagnostic. Here's an illustration of the impact of the sequence parameters such as TR and flip angle on the image appearance. And what we see is that with a very long TR of about half a second, we have too much signal from background tissues such as synovial fluid and superficial veins. Whereas if we use too large a flip angle, 90 degrees for instance, we suppress everything which is of no use to us. So 
The best compromise is a short TR of about 138 milliseconds with a flip angle of 45 degrees, in which case we see the arteries quite nicely, but suppress the background tissues and veins. Here's a video showing a comparison of a 2D kiss hole leg study versus an ungated Beatrice study. And what you can notice is the spatial resolution with Beatrice is much higher. It's 0.65 by 0.5 by 0.5, or approximately five times higher spatial resolution than KISS, and it shows much more vascular detail with better signal to noise. Here we see an illustration of the BTRES technique applied to patients. So on the left, we have a patient in whom a CTA was non-diagnostic due to extensive vascular calcifications. The 2D KISS and BTRES both nicely show the right SFA occlusion and collateral vessels, but Vascular detail is better with the BTRES sequence. In another patient, both 2D KISS and BTRES show bilateral SFA occlusions. However, the BTRES sequence again shows more vascular detail. It turns out that the BTRES technique is quite flexible. So in this case, for instance, we flipped the tracking saturation pulse from below to above each slab, and the result is a very high resolution, high quality MR venogram of the entire peripheral vascular system. The image quality is much better than with 2D KISS, in part because of the better spatial resolution, but also because the BTRES technique naturally suppresses respiratory induced variations in venous signal. So in conclusion, we have introduced a novel pulse sequence, BTRES, that provides a basis for a completely push-button approach for non-contrast MRA and is very simple for even an inexperienced technologist to use. It avoids the need for ECG gating, scout imaging, breath holding, or tailoring of imaging parameters for individual patients. Pilot studies suggest improved vessel sharpness compared with 2D KISS and the ability to identify peripheral arterial disease. The method has potential utility for venous mapping and identification of deep venous thrombosis and other applications as well. However, considerable further work is needed for technical optimization and clinical validation. Thank you very much for your attention.